I know they're supposed to be the intelligent beings, but you really gotta wonder what the hell they're doing. What's up guys and welcome back to Tasty Planet Forever. So last episode we saw a bee eat the entire planet. Okay, things got out of hand pretty quickly, but funny enough, bees aren't really known for their appetite. Right, if you think of a bee, you think buzzing and getting stung and honey, but a shark, its entire reputation revolves around eating stuff. So I'm really curious to see how far things are gonna go today. Using the latest in shark killing tech, we virtually eradicated the basking shark from this region. Yay! These villains of the sea will torment us no more. Torment you? Have they ever attacked anyone? No. Don't they eat only plankton? Ah, uh, true. So why are you killing them? Well, they get stuck in our fishing nets and cost us money. You've brought an entire species to the brink of extinction to save on fishing gear. Of course, they're just sharks basking and leering. We've destroyed thousands of them already. I'd be surprised if there were any left. This is gonna be another one of those levels that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> like, sure, okay, if they brought my species to extinction and I wanna get revenge, then I can totally get on board with that. But maybe I should hop into a tornado or something like that. There's no way that a regular shark could just eat all of existence because he was angry. <laughs> like, I'm not a robo shark, I'm not a mutant shark. I kind of look like a shark whose mother was smoking when he was born. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I'm any kind of special. You would think that if I'm angry at the humans, I would do something to the humans, right? I would nibble at their toes or scare them on the beach, whatever sharks do. I don't really understand why I'm taking it out on the locals. Like, what did this fuzzy puddle of ocean jizz do to me? Probably nothing worth getting eaten over, but I guess that's the way it's gonna be. You're gonna have to eat every local to grow big and strong and get revenge for all of us? Does that make sense? Listen, you guys aren't important enough to be in a tornado, so you know what, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Couple strawberry anemones, and just like that, things are already ramping up. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sculpin. Goodbye, Mr. Sculpin. Didn't the news reporter lady just say that I only eat plankton? Because I'm definitely eating quite a bit more than plankton right now. <laughs> I would love to stop and talk to these guys, but I probably shouldn't, because then I would die. I don't know why I stopped earlier, come to think of it. Sharks can't stop moving or else they suffocate. I, I would imagine everybody knows that by now because everybody's watched Shark Week, but the idea being fish usually have little muscles over their gills to pump water across, which lets them breathe, but sharks don't. So if sharks stop moving forward and having water rush past their gills, then they just suffocate. It's like holding your breath. <laughs> Doesn't really work out. Uh, ooh. Hold down the spacebar to go faster. This will help evade enemies and perform impressive jumps. Okay, but why are you showing me a blurry cat? I see. They want me to do epic jumps over the otters and the ducks <laughs> and whatever kind of disgusting crab you are. <laughs> we got sea urchins. We got sea cucumbers. Uh, nothing else of interest. Okay, let's go back over here. Maybe those jellyfish. No, 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 no. And get to them, ah, here we go. The Greenlings. <laughs> the ocean is definitely a favorable place to be doing this, you know? It's a lot better than just getting birds and drones and people and stuff like that. <laughs> There's a much more distinct food chain down here. Then again, no time like the present to join another food chain. Maybe a little something like this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We could be the master of all domains. Ooh, ooh, you're just a little bit too big. We'll get the Pudget Sound King Crab. Man, things are real royal and complicated down here. And, uh, oh, no, hold on, hold on. I saw the can of the goose. We're just gonna have to get the ducks for now. I think this is the end of the level. Man, we are gonna get out of hand in this. I can already tell because we're at 35 centimeters in the first level. I really hope we can eat the planet, okay? I don't know if that would work for a shark, but if we can swim around in space and eat the galaxy, that would be awesome. Our next level is called Feeling Krabby, and I really should expect no less from this game. Of course, there are gonna be puns as far as the eye can see, and 
we are going to be in some kind of weird crab cave. Interesting. Okay, well, there's definitely plenty to eat. It's all a little crunchy, but beggars can't be choosers when you're going for revenge. I'm quickly getting a little bit too rotund to be swimming around in these caves. Oh, and I'm almost finished the level. Weird. So it's just a crab buffet. Nothing says getting revenge for my extinct species like driving another species to extinction. Next up, we have Are You Jelly? I swear to God, if you don't stop with the awful puns, I'm going to lose my little sharky mind. <laughs> so is this going to be the same thing as the last, except on now I'm driving jellyfish to extinction? Because that's, ow, that's not cool. Okay, okay, the bigger ones, they kind of sting. We're going to stick to the little ones for now. Here's a hard-hitting philosophical question for you. If jellyfish stings need to be peed on so that they hurt less, and fish pee in the water around them all the time, does that mean fish aren't hurt by jellyfish stings? These are the things that I need to ask either a fish or a jellyfish. <laughs> Not entirely sure. And why are they called jellyfish? Right? I get the jelly part, but they don't look anything like fish. They should be called like jelly brains, jelly blobs, jelly jellies. What do you think happens to a shark's insides after eating like a hundred jellyfish? What happens when it comes back out? Is that where gummy bears come from? I can't even imagine what a processed jellyfish must look like. It, it's already floating clear poop. For a while there, I was considering not reading the title of every level, but when they pitch me gold like seize the day, how can I resist? Because I know these puns pain people just as much as they pain me. This is good though. We're picking up right where we left off in the first level, except with a few more murder convictions. Why does humanity hate me so much? I'm not worth going to jail over. I can't shake them, they're freaking everywhere. Can I maybe trick them into shooting one another? Go ahead, just shoot your friends and there we go. <laughs> Help me, sea lion. I swear I won't eat you much. Yeah, we're gonna say much. Can't make any solid promises. Oh, come on, just just leave me alone. I have been swimming around for like three minutes and I have yet to grow an inch. I keep getting pegged in the ass by spears. Listen, I know you guys are on vacation, okay? But you gotta have something better to do, right? I, I know you guys just pay a lot of money to hop in the sea and murder wildlife. People do, you call it fishing, you call it murder, whatever you want, but can you please just, I'm going over here, okay? You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving the water. I am now a bird. <laughs> you wouldn't hunt a bird, ow! Honest question, is it possible to finish one of these levels with negative stars? <laughs> because I feel like they're gonna take stars away from my previous attempts. I am just getting rocked by these guys. I cannot wait until I can turn on them. Oh, I should just turn on them now, right? I might not be able to eat them. I might not even be able to kill them, but I can make them learn a thing or two about screwing with nature. Okay, come on, come on, please. I'm sorry, otters. I know you're adorable and you smash things on your little bellies, but I need your mass. <laughs> like a spirit bomb, please. Just lend me your energy, nature. I see how it's gonna be. Okay, suddenly I'm the size of a canoe and you're not all that interested. Where do you think you're going? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> My revenge has been complete, right? I finally got back at the humans for making my species go extinct. So now we can just live happily ever after and stop, stop eating. Just stop eating birds. <laughs> stop eating everything. No, no, he didn't do anything to you. We promised him. This is just never gonna stop. It, it's already gotten out of hand. It's out of control. We gotta pull the plug on the shark. Nothing feels better than watching somebody get murdered by a boat. I was gonna say nothing feels better than getting really, really big and eating the things that were bullying you earlier, but like there really are no rules out here in international waters. And they called me the villain of the sea. I mean, I'm just running around eating fellow sharks. Should I be doing that? We're not the same species of shark. That's right, I'm the last of my kind, so I don't need to feel pity for them. I guess that's how this works. I am consuming entire humpback whales. That's a lot of mass. 
<laughs> okay, I wonder if I can jump up on land. I think I saw some buildings. Yeah, there we go. And a plane. Yep, that was a fighter jet. Was a fighter jet. <laughs> We're not even halfway through the campaign. I'm already to the point where I'm fighting off the military. This is definitely gonna get out of hand. I, I don't understand how it's possible to finish off the entire universe, but I really hope I can. <laughs> I may not be able to eat you, but I can still screw with you. These planes are really annoying. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, are, are they just trying to, oh, they're shooting each other. I'm just hanging out here, okay? I'm gonna let stuff just soar into me, I guess. Ah, you didn't expect that, did you? I'm not just a tail, I'm a regular shark. <laughs> okay, that took way too long. Don't be so crude. I would imagine that means oil, right? We're gonna take some more revenge on people eating their boats and their oil. Oh, that's Weird, so we have a bit of an oil leak, and I'm just gonna eat that up. That doesn't seem very good for me. <gasps> Are we sure we wanna be doing this? I mean, don't get me wrong, eating a boat in a fighter jet probably not much better, but at the same time, there can't be that much appetizing to a ball of oil. These ships can clearly see my big <laughs> stupid head <laughs> and my fin sticking up out of the water, so I was gonna ask, at what point did you just leave? Right? When you see a bus with teeth swimming around in the water, just leave! Our next level is called Timber! And considering I've never seen a shark be a lumberjack before, I want to say that we're probably going to attack land. <laughs> this is a very important first step, okay? We're gonna be taking over the whole universe. At one point or another, we're gonna have to leave the ocean and eat cabins and trees and trucks. <laughs> just as planned, okay? It's nothing personal. Actually, no, it is kind of personal, right? This entire time, everything is very personal. So if I get a little stuck on land, okay, hold on, we're just keep keep squir squirming, we're squirming. <laughs> everything is fine, there's nobody left to see. Oh, it's a dead end, of course it is. We're gonna have to squirm our way back. <laughs> oh, come on. Gotta be some big, strong lumberjack men around here somewhere. There we go, that's the stuff. Can you imagine just being in your cabin, having a cup of tea, and then all of a sudden, a shark the size of a skyscraper eats you? Considering we've hit the humans where they hurt, you know, in the water, in their boats, their fighter jets, their logging cabins. I think we're just a boat done. Now is the time for the big picture. So we're just five millimeters long, back where it all began, eating a couple of small fries and planning our revenge. There may be a whole buffet of these guys, but sooner rather than later, we need a little variety. We're gonna change things up and go with something a little bit more colorful, <laughs> a little bit more substantial. And you guys are definitely colorful and spiky and ugly, so you know what? We can find a space for you too. I never realized I could interrupt the crab parade. I'm sorry guys, but it's gotta happen. <laughs> gotta get a little bit of everything in my diet. A good balanced diet helps you take down humanity. What's with the giant spiky poop and why do we want to eat it? Oh, it's a sea cucumber. And now, yes, thank you. I remember that I can jump. <laughs> Don't know why the game keeps reminding me about that, okay? Just because I eat shit doesn't mean I'm an idiot. I'm kind of amazed that I haven't hummed the Jaws music even once this episode, because I should. <laughs> I've pulled off the Jaws move many a time on these incredibly, oh, oh uh, hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> Don't mind me, just getting the derpy ducks. I can't have enough derpy ducks. Let me just flip you over really quick. <laughs> Make sure that both sides are nice and moist for when I come for you. Oh, you gonna drown? I don't think you can breathe underwater, right? You're a mammal. You definitely have lungs and not gills. You'll be fine, right? At the very least, I'll have a carcass. How about you? There we go, that's the one. Okay, I was wondering when we were gonna get to the right size. I'm definitely moving up though, so now we have trouble. <laughs> you know what, this, this time I have my foot in the door, okay? So I am not gonna put up with you guys for very long. Trust me, I am going to get my revenge. You can't stop me, you and the derpy ducks, you'll never be able to stop me. 
The aggravating part is the spears make you lose mass. Like you get smaller and a lot smaller. It's significant, like half a dozen fish or more. So if you get hit by one and then you only eat like three fish, you're shrinking. <laughs> I gotta get big enough for them to leave me alone. Oh, that's right. <laughs> now it's time for me to shine. You think this seal will just swim into my mouth? Okay, well, I guess that's one of life's questions solved. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Okay, that boat is gonna murder like an entire family. <laughs> Stupid otters, oh, come on, man. I'm supposed to be the murder machine around here, ooh. I don't know how I feel about the fact that 1.6 meters is half that bar. No wait, it's not linear, right? I think we learned with the B that that could only be like a tenth of my size even though I'm halfway through the level. I really hope we get to the point where we get to eat like at least the planet. Okay, I don't want to go back. I don't want to eat the entire planet with a B and then just eat a couple of islands with a shark. That'd be so disappointing. I'm hearing a lot of fighter jets up there. Which is strange because I haven't even proven to be a threat yet. Maybe they're just practicing running drills. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they are up there. They are for sure up there. I gotta run from them for now. Just for now. Just gotta guzzle down half a dozen whales and then I'll be in fighting form. It's like Rocky and the raw eggs, except way manlier. There we go. <laughs> okay, two ships have disappeared. Now might be a good time for you to get eaten. That's what I thought. I know they're supposed to be the intelligent beings, but you really gotta wonder what the hell they're doing. <laughs> Don't mind me, just filling up. <laughs> just gonna lay a trap and let them all screw around and then I'll pop out and eat them all. Saves a whole lot of time, a whole lot of energy. Even though, like I said, I shouldn't stop moving because I am a shark. I'm a super shark, okay? I can do whatever I want. Like attack land. There we go, a whole family of torpedoes. What the hell? Where did that come from? Okay. Yeah, we, we got a bit of a problem. <laughs> we got shark ramming ships. I thought they were fishing vessels. Who, what, what is a shark ramming ship? That's not a real thing, is it? <laughs> I don't think so. Hold on, we're just gonna focus on the civilians for now. We'll get to the military in just a second. Just hold on, guys, wait your turn. There we go, okay, forest is gone. I should be in ship shape for fighting, maybe. Where are you guys? Gotta be around here, so, oh, that's the stuff. <laughs> a destroyer. Can I eat these? Ow, nope, nope, okay, missiles hurt, missiles hurt. Did you really paint the side of your submarine with an anti-shark logo? <laughs> what is going on? Why are they so prepared for shark attack? It just doesn't make any sense, right? Oh, there we go, and your toast. That's it. As a bee, we got to eat the moon and the world, and as a shark, we got to eat a submarine? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Tasty Planet Forever, guys. And I stand by the fact that that's a bit of a disappointment. Honestly, I don't know why this game is different than the other Tasty Planets, because it used to be that every time you would finish something new, it would get further and further out of hand. You would see new, bigger things, and it would just get completely ridiculous. You would eat planets and solar systems and galaxies and all of existence. <laughs> but this was pretty much the exact same thing as the octopus, which in itself wasn't nearly as much as the bee, so it just doesn't really make any sense. But we only have three animals left, including the gray goo. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return for more soon. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.